I'm about to teach you how to download and install like Marika for Minecraft 1.19.4, making sure that everything is working properly. So if you want to learn how to do that, watch this video until the end and let's get started. And surprisingly, the first step to install like Marika is to actually download like Marika. And how do you download like Marika? Well, click on the second link in the description, which will bring you to a written guide on how to download and install like Marika. Of course, you can read through the guide and look at the screenshots, but if you just want to follow along the video, that's fine as well. Just go ahead and click where it says download like Marika, and that is going to redirect you to the official CurseForge website for like Marika, where you're going to scroll down a little bit and find the version that we want. Obviously, in this case, it's 1.19.4. So just go ahead and click on download file for 1.19.4 is right here. And as you can see, this is for fabric. And don't worry, because I'm going to show you how to install fabric in this video as well, in case you don't have fabric, which I'm assuming most of you don't have fabric yet. So go ahead and click download file. And that is going to start the download in five seconds. All you have to do is wait five seconds without clicking anything. And the download will start automatically. As you can see, it should be starting now or now and there we go the file is downloading it's asking me where i want to save the file but for you it's just probably gonna download automatically and if you're using the newer version of chrome you should see it here in the top right just like i see it i'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop that to the desktop and i do recommend that you follow along and you drop it into your desktop as well once we have the file in the desktop we're not ready to add this yet we need to do a couple other steps if you have installed lightmatic in the past you do know that lightmatic requires a library in order to work properly with fabric and that library is called malilip something like that <laughs> okay don't don't laugh at me i have the library right here and the name is malilip okay i guess it's like mali library or something like that however like marika requires this in order to work properly and of course we have guides on how to download and install this i'm leaving the guide in the third link in the description and i'm also going to download it here in the video because you need it to install uh, like marika so go ahead and click on the third link scroll down until you see the download malilip button right here click on that and that is going to redirect you to the official website for malilip in curseforge and in here you're going to scroll down until you see 1.19.4, of course. Then go ahead and click on download file, just like we did with Light Marika, and wait five seconds, again, just like we did before, in order for the file to download automatically. Go ahead and click save if you have this option like I do, but if you don't, your file is probably gonna be downloaded automatically, and you can find it here on the top right, or maybe it's in the bottom left, if you're still using the outdated version of Chrome. Whatever the case might be, just go ahead and drag and drop your file into the desktop, Okay, and if you don't know where your file is though, it probably is in your downloads folder. However, now we have Light Marika and we have Malilip Fabric. So what are we missing? Well, as Malilip says, we need fabric. We need a mod loader. A mod loader is gonna allow you to add mods to Minecraft, just like Light Marika, because Light Marika is a mod. So we're gonna go ahead and download and install fabric, which is also really, really simple. And we make it extra easier with these guides that we have here for you. So the fourth link in the description will bring you to a written guide on how to download and install fabric loader. All you have to do, of course, you can read through the guide and stuff, but if you're just following along, go ahead and click where it says download fabric loader here. That is going to redirect you over here. And then you're going to click download universal jar. That is going to start the download automatically and then click save. If you have the option as I do, if you don't just get the file already and drag and drop it into your desktop. There we go. Now we have the fabric installer. We have Malili Fabric and we have Light Marika, okay? Remember, Fabric is the mod loader that we need in order for both of these to work. And we are not done yet because we also need Fabric API. If you have installed Fabric in the past, you know Fabric requires Fabric API in order for mods to load properly. So how do you download Fabric API? Don't worry, I also have a guide on that in the description. Fifth link is gonna be labeled something as Fabric API. And in here, we're gonna scroll down, click download Fabric API. Once you're over here in the CurseForge website, just look for the proper version, which is 1.19.4 and then click download file. I know it's a lot of downloading stuff and I'm sorry that you have to go through all of this, but I didn't make these mods and that's the way it works. Usually big mods like Light Marika require a library and obviously they require a mod loader. In this case, it's Fabric and Fabric requires Fabric API. That's just the way it works. Once you have Fabric API downloaded, go ahead and put it into your desktop as well. And don't worry because from here, the tutorial gets way easier, okay? Right now, it was just downloading stuff. Now it gets super, super simple. Once you have Fabric API, put it on your desktop as well. And I want you to divide these four files into two different sections. First, we're gonna have Light Marika, Malilip, and Fabric all together in one. And then we're gonna have the Fabric installer separate. And that is because the only thing that we need to install from here is Fabric. Everything else is gonna be just dropping it into a folder and that's it. So in order to install Fabric, just go ahead and double click on it. And that is going to open this menu in here that says Fabric installer if fabric gives you any issues okay if you have any issues while trying to open the fabric installer or for example you don't see these cups in here or you double click on fabric and it opens a website or it opens as a text document that might mean that you have an outdated version of java and i'm gonna go ahead and leave a link in the description on how to download and install java 
in case your Java is outdated and this doesn't open for you, okay? And I'm also gonna leave you a link for Jarfix in case you need to run a Jarfix, okay? That is only if you have issues installing Fabric. However, I'm gonna assume that most of you were able to open Fabric right away, the installer, and then you get this little menu here. Make sure that you have 1.19.4 selected and then click install. And while Fabric is installing, I have to let you know about today's sponsor, Minecraft Apex Hosting. If you're looking to create a Minecraft server that is open 24 seven, that you can play with your friends, strangers, anybody that you wanna play with, a server for which if you wanna install like Marika, like we're doing right now, you don't have to go through this whole process of downloading things because Apex Hosting will do it for you. Well, Apex Hosting is giving 25% off your first server right now if you use the first link in the description. So I'm going to leave that link there for those of you that want 25% off your first server with Apex Hosting. Remember, you could have like Marika and any other mod or mod pack that you want without having to do all these steps that we're doing just by using Apex Hosting with the first link in the description. Once that's said, let's see if Fabric is already installed and it is already install as you can see fabric loader has been installed just click on ok you could go ahead and close the installer and you could even delete the installer right now just delete that file now we have three files left over and all you have to do is open your minecraft launcher and if you install fabric properly you should see fabric already selected here on the bottom left and as you can see it is already selected it says fabric loader 1.19.4 oh my god i talk so fast don't i so if you do see your fabric loader there that means we installed it properly most of you will have it there however if it doesn't show just go to installations and make sure that modded is selected because if modded is not selected you won't see the loader or you won't see fabric in there okay so make sure modded is selected if that doesn't fix it for you just click on new installation and type fabric in here okay and then on version look for fabric it should be like the third one as you can see release fabric loader is right there and then click create on the bottom right as you can see down here and that should create an instance of fabric that is for those of you that didn't have fabric selected automatically however most of you will have it and all you have to do to add lightmatica now is click on installations open your fabric loader folder not the game yet the folder that is right here okay you hover over it and you click on this little folder and then once in here look for another folder called mods mods as you can see we have mods right here go ahead and open that folder you shouldn't have anything in here i'm gonna go ahead and delete that you shouldn't have anything and all you have to do now is drag and drop your files however what happens if you don't have the mods folder well let's say that you didn't have the mods folder just like now i deleted mine all you have to do is right click new and create the mods folder yourself there you go mods i created the folder myself go ahead and open that folder and now drag the files the three files together that we separated earlier like marika Malilip and Fabric API, just drop them in there. Close this big folder and open Fabric now. And as you can see, we're now into the world. And if we press M, we can see that Lightmatica is working. As you can see, we have all the options in here. And I don't really know how to use Lightmatica, but I know there's a lot of things with this that you could do. So if you know how to use it, please let us know down in the comments. However, now you should have Lightmatica and let's go over the steps on how to install it to check that you did everything properly. The first thing is to download Lightmatica using the second link in the description. Then from there, we got the library request Required for like Marika called Malilip using the third link. Then we needed Fabric, so we downloaded Fabric with the fourth link and Fabric API with the fifth link. So there we have Fabric, Fabric API, Malilip, and Light Marika. Then we installed Fabric. If you had any issues, you probably needed to update it using Java, which I also left you a guide for. And then once we have Fabric, we open the mods folder and we drop in all the mods that we had downloaded earlier. And now we should have Light Marika working. If this tutorial was useful, let me know down in the comments. And as always, bye bye.